Hello everyone, welcome back to my RP1 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. As you might be able to tell from the sound of my voice, I'm a bit sick right now, especially as far as my throat condition is concerned. I'm suitably energetic at the moment, but that might be powered by Advil. So, um, uh, but we'll try our best, and all I need to do is get a Molnia satellite into orbit, and then do the Tundra orbit satellite contract, and I'll try not to talk so much. I'm sure that'll be to the relief of many people. Uh, but here is our satellite. We have unlocked newer solar panels, so maybe we won't have the solar panel problem, hopefully. And uh, these are the Ranger solar panels. They'll provide much power, especially once we shut down the avionics here. The avionics are meant to control three tons, which includes the stage that we have here with the Gamma 2. You've seen this arrangement before with the successful geosynchronous satellite, geostationary satellite. And we're going to use it for the Molnia satellite orbit, but we're just using, instead of the normal engines that we've been using for this stage, which were the um, these guys, the ORML, uh, ORM65 variant, uh, we're just using these little guys because we don't expect to be doing too much. The Gamma 2 stage is going to do most of the business boosting up to the high orbit, and then these guys will just fine-tune it. So, we'll have full control, we have the Commutatron on, Oh, and also we have science. We do have the really long science, the orbital perturbation experiments, the nine years will do some of it, I guess. But since it requires a high inclination, it makes sense to do with the Molnia orbit satellite. All right, so we'll build this. Oh, it's just a bit too tall with the fairing. I overdid the fairing anyway. So some tooling is involved, but not much. We're a little bit late on the X-Plane research thing, so I'm going to complete it without doing the 110 kilometer one. And my plan is to do geostationary communication network and then do crude orbit. But we'll need some extra slots for that sort of thing. Well, we're going to have to go southward with it, but I'd rather launch in daylight, so I hope Brazil doesn't mind. Okay, we've got the CompSat payload. It has that check marked. Our parameters are above 500 km periapsis, eccentricity above 0.7, and inclination between 61.4 and 65.4, and then that period. That's why we have the little engines for getting the period right. Okay. Well, SAS on, throttle up, and we'll be going to a 160, de uh, let's say 155 degree heading. And ignition. And launch. Okay, we should be through max Q, everything proceeding nominally. Okay, separation. And it lit. Fairing set. A antenna out, and let's see about the solar panels too. Zero percent wear, so so far so good. Hopefully, it's just those little ones that we used before. Okay, separation and ignition. I could have withheld one of them if we thought that was necessary. I'll think about that if this fails. Also, this is a bit undersized. It's less than 3 tons because we're going to this inclination. It's only 2.2 tons instead of 3, which is the capacity for a launcher for a regular orbit. Inclination should be good. But we'll need a station to work with. There's something there. Troll station. Wait a minute. What if it trolls us, though? Okay, that should be good enough for now. Alright, well we don't want that hanging out. We'll just proceed. Should be okay for now. Science. We've got a lot of sciences. I'll start the one that's going to take forever. So at the indicated periapsis here, 
we will try to boost up, assuming we have comms. Well, we've picked up the troll station. How trolly is it going to be? We're a little bit off, but it shouldn't be too bad. Now, of course, we're low, but we'll use the other engines to boost up once we get to Wapwapsis. And go. Okay, well, that's 42,000. That should still satisfy. Our eccentricity is definitely above 0.7. Okay, well, let's not have this core's... Well, the core is still there, so technically it's not doing any harm to us. I'll separate it anyway. Ooh, vigorous, vigorous. That decoupler is still full force. This is how our orbit looks like. I'm going to try and just get to apoapsis and lift our periapsis to what's required and also get that period. Our period's too long though, so we'll probably have to pull that apoapsis down. Hmm. But I don't want to do it right now because our lines are tenuous. Well, okay, it seems like a good line. Deneb G is actually helping us here. Maybe it's okay. Maybe we can do it. Let's bring that apoapsis down. I'm not going to use the center one. They each have two ignitions. Okay. Okay. That should be fine. Got a long trip to Apoapsis. Okay, that should be good enough. Okay, first Milnea orbit satellite done. We're already building another one of these and it should be able to do the Tundra orbit. Let's just get all the science started and get this pointing at the sun again. Oh, the magnetic scan seems to be done already from uh, high orbit, I guess. Where zero percent? Well, looking good. Didn't use much of our propellant in this either, even though the tank is really tiny, actually. The Tundra orbit one wants us in nearly a one-day orbit. Well, basically one day, because it's 23 hours, 56 minutes. And um, lower eccentricity, periapsis above 1,000 kilometers. I think we should still be able to do it with the same rocket. We are expected to launch the same amount of ComSat payload as well. Okay, same idea as last time, uh, but I... Okay, that's the orbit they want. Oh, that's really a lot higher than a thousand, though. <laughs> um, uh, well, eccentricity 0.3, hmm. This might not be able to do that. Uh, let's, let's reconsider that. Uh, yeah. Let's roll this back and try and modify it a little bit. Okay, so I've added the ORM-65 variants back in with their normal tank, and we still have the Gamma-2 there, but I dumped some of the experiments so that this is lighter, and hopefully that'll work out. But it's tight. If we take a look at this, we've got 3,600 meters per second in this assembly to get to the required orbit, and... That's tough. That's tough. We may have to full play a full few tricks to make that work out for us. And considering the holding off on using this Gamma 2 and making sure we use up all the propellant in the third stage in order to help us out, but now the rocket is carrying a heavier load, 2.778 tons instead of 2.2. So it's not even guaranteed that it's going to get to orbit with this. And that would be a problem. I thought I was editing, editing it, but apparently not. Okay. Ah, we're still recovering that one. Well, let's see if I just open the Tundra Sat one, whether it'll be okay. Two hours. Two hours sounds good to me. Okay, save edits. Okay. SAS on, throttle up, ignition. And launch.
day separation and ignition. We'll go for an earlier than usual fairing release here, now. Okay, separation and ignition. We should have enough for orbit. Okay, perfect. All right. I actually want to shuffle that a bit. All right, let's let this stage go. So, we actually want to get that apoapsis first. So we're going to burn up from down here. Hopefully we'll have comms. That's 2,640. And I, oh, maybe I can create, nope, I can't. We have to get into comms before I can create another maneuver node. Okay. Just want to see if this is doable, doable or not. That's 989, it says. Maybe we don't have to go quite so high. I don't know. It says more than a one day orbit. Okay, now we've lost comms again. Um, but let's say it's 900 something. We've got 3,600 altogether, so we can spend 965 up there. Seems barely possible. Barely. Oh, well, first things first, I don't think we have comms down here. Not on this pass. Oh, we just picked up the Geosat, but that was too late. 0% wear, so... Maybe new ones are alright. But we could do it the reverse way and see if that can work out at all. Got a lot of comm stations up here. No, that's too much. Yeah, we definitely have to do it the first way, not this way. We have to burn out from Antarctica. But, yep. Well, we're staying charged, that's the important thing. But it might be a while before we actually get something to help us with communication down there. Darn it, where's Troll Station when you need it? Okay, well... We might have DenebG helping us here. We're expecting this burn will take all of this stage and part of the next stage. Okay, going. And gotta throw in the RCS as well. If, uh, oh, it's a Monia sat helping now. That should hold off for quite a while, actually. Okay, it's done. Alright, well. We'll just proceed with the next stage. These guys, we probably should roll to keep them stable. We've only got two just in case we want to get an extra burn in with the center one. Okay, okay, that's overdoing it. I don't know, uh, should be alright maybe to overdo it? I don't know. 
All right, we have a thousand left, and we need 977. It looks like that's a longer than expected orbit. Let's see. That should be within parameters right there. I don't know what the eccentricity of that is. It says above 0.3. I think that'll be a higher eccentricity than the plotted orbit, so that should be fine. And we'd be above 1,000 kilometers and that period. So, okay. Let's go to Apoapsis and see if this goes well. Uh, we don't need that doing anything. This is spinning at the sun, as it should. A little bit off here, but not too bad. Well, it's going to take time for it to stop the spin and get to, well, but maybe it won't take so long. Or maybe it will. It's uh, swabbling all over the place. Hey, low thrust. And high thrust. They seem mostly balanced this time. Oh, but not right when I say that. The, the, okay, no, that's not going well. <laughs> so much for that idea. Oh, we are out of RCS. Uh oh. And something just happened. We have lost one of the engines. Oh, we were so close too. Uh, we ran out of RCS. Too many maneuvers with this thing. Well, now we can't stabilize it. Well, it's in the high orbit. We're gonna do some science. I don't know if we can point at the sun or anything, or how it's gonna recharge, but that I'll just let this deal with. We'll shut down avionics. And we'll get what science we can as it spins out of control. Well, we'll have to try that again. But it seemed like Delta V wise we were fine. Maybe we need some R some extra RCS, so maybe I just need to be a little bit more careful with that. Well, looking to future things, we are going to do the geostationary satellite stuff, but then we'll want to do crewed orbit stuff. So we should start researching the things that are necessary for that. And we have 26 science, so I'll go with the human rated EDL and also crew survivability. I guess human rated EDL will be good enough for Kerbals, right? But uh, yeah, so we have enough for those two and we'll get those. And then we need 21 more for the basic capsules. And then we can get that. What I really want though is early docking procedures <laughs> to get the, uh, you know, RCS upgrades and all that business. Better little one kilonewton thrusters. But we'll have to wait. Well, at least the science instruments worked out for us. I got the message that... Uh, Cosmic Ray Science and the Micrometeorite Detector both completed as far as Earth Space Low is concerned. And so that's good. But as I roll this out, it is with some concern because uh, the way we reached orbit last time was rather tight. And I did everything in my power to make that launch as perfect as possible. And not even sure I can duplicate that. So we're going to find out. Let's see. Well, well, we'll try forward a northward one, since that'll be in daylight. Okay, here we go again, but we still need everything to work out. Throttle up, SAS is on, ignition. And launch. Just trying to follow the prograde vector down here. separation. All right. Bearing set. Okay, we are in space. Okay, staging. Okay, well, maybe the RCS can get us to an orbit. <laughs> Let's hope. Let's see. How's it doing? Uh, I don't know if it's gonna have enough time. 
Well, we're out of comms, we're just gonna let the RCS try its best. Okay, the RCS has brought us to orbit. Which means we probably have too much RCS on this stage, but it's probably because we had these tanks tooled and I just went with it. Okay, there's comms. And once again, we'll have to burn uh, the South Pole to the north. And we'll probably hope that I, either a Moniasat or a Geosync Sat can help. Amazing that the Geosync Sats could, but. Your scope is greater than I thought. It's possible this would be better if we burned a fur, uh, to a greater apoapsis, might be easier, but we'll just do something that matches what they've got plotted, again for safety's sake. We almost made it last time after all. Hey, throttle better be down, and staging. Okay, this time around we've got no help. Oh, we do have help. It just popped in. A Deneb G. Okay, node please. Okay, go. Okay, continuing. These two seem so stable down here. Well, the RCS is firing a lot, though. We'll keep an eye on that. But this time I won't try to spin up, I'll just let it try and hold it. Okay, that's about what they wanted. Alright, so far so good. Here we go again. Yep, just uh, periapsis in the period is all we need there. Okay, so I'll shut these down and go with the single center engine this time. Much comms from this view. Got America right there. Okay, this is within its rated burn time or close to it. It's basically its rated burn time, so... Well, let's see. Okay, here we go. Everything except for the period, so that's all I'm looking for. Did they have to get us so close to the point three? That should be good enough. Okay, it's satisfied. And we're done. Alright. So, let's start the sciences. Cosmic ray science up here in high orbit hasn't been finished. And orbital perturbation, again, a long, long time. Pointing at the sun. Rolling for stability. And no, it's recharging right now, even with the avionics on, so... Plenty of surplus. Let me shut it down. So even when they degrade, this should probably work for quite a while. But where is zero? So all is looking well here, and we'll let it do its science. Back to Space Center. So, I'm gonna take pleasure in completing that, even though we're early. Oh, gosh, I could barely read that. All right. Yes, complete that program. Geostationary comm network. It says communication network contract. I don't know. It's a four satellite contract. Each requires 315 units of commsat payload. Hmm. You know, maybe we have enough commsats. Then again, for the crude orbit, I'm thinking we're going to probably want a new pad. Because our launcher can only do three tons, and it's a little bit tight. It's good for Mercury level, but it's a little bit tight. So this could fund our new pad. And the new pad would probably be required, considering 315 units of ComSat payload. We haven't, you know, unlocked the science required for crude orbit yet, so... I think while we're collecting that science, we'll get this so that we can toss more of the science up more orbital perturbation experiments and such things. We'll also be working on uncrewed lunar surface exploration, so we'll go with the plan. But yeah, we'll go fast. We've got a lot of that stuff, so alright, we'll go fast. 
and we need to build a new pad. So look forward to that in the next video. So with that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.